food. Any nutritious substance that people or animals eat or drink or that plants absorb in order to maintain life and growth, where do flaming Hot Cheetos come in? They say, you are what you eat, but you don't know what you're eating. You're addicted to what the ranch dip did. But ranch isn't a flavor, a ranch is an area of landscape, and even area of landscape dressing sounds better than buttermilk, sour cream, yogurt, mayonnaise, minced green onion, and garlic powder. They call it comfort food. Because if you're bloated and bedridden for life, you damn well better be comfortable. The human body can survive on nutrient juices for over six months. Are we just addicted to chewing things? Animals are worth more dead than alive. Chickens and cows who only have one purpose, to eat and eat and eat and die so you can eat them. Farms genetically alter animals so their bones are too weak for them to stand up. They're injected with growth hormones so their body matures as much in a month as it should in a lifetime. We played God, not to benefit a species, but to cripple them. Mechanized death on bloody assembly lines. Animals go into blenders because you don't want to put bananas and protein powder in. Ironically, they'll never go extinct because we mass produce them out of a demand to kill them. Their heaven is our bellies. Are we God food too? City kids for tall buildings to chew? If they can process a species, then why stop at pigs? Do you think you're not on a farm right now? If the animal you ate ate growth hormones, you're eating growth hormones. Who is feeding you? You, the consumer. It's okay for them to con you and you to sue them if you end up in the ER. Hippocrates said, let thy food be thy medicine. Instead, we digest tortured carcasses, consuming blasphemy, stress, two trauma, gargle black sugar water, finance carnage, murder, diplomatic immunity granted to hamburglers, suckling at the teat of a slaughterhouse, ketchup on their mouth, sugary sweet in order to neutralize high sodium fries, Jiva Don Dons, raised sour patch kids, addicted to artificial satisfaction till they pass out like diabetes health and care pamphlets wake up with cavities in their mouth pricking fingers with lancets you can't afford fruits or vegetables and you're stuck eating like you can't afford gastric bypass surgery operations expand like waste young minds and bodies high off the grease cavemen never got to taste the food corporations that keep us sick keep medical corporations rich we're raised on nutrition fiction. You don't realize that when you cook vegetables, you cook away the enzymes in them. Skinny models encourage it, like RBST syringes. Hold up barbecued fast food they'll never eat. What does a body develop into when artificial is nourishment? When a society is dependent on caffeine to mass fatigue. Profit margin, margarine martyrdom, financial Darwinism. Pizza is a vegetable, and USDA pockets grow fatter than American tapeworms. Some kids gotta go to school for their meals. Their education is a prerequisite so they can have lunch. Don't have the luxury to ignore warnings of corners in the school where the push a man vending machines hunch. Who's playing God with us? Designating our life expectancy. Restaurant chains outlive family recipes the way prescription drugs outlive homemade soups and remedies. You're being fed. You're being fed. Do you really think you're not on a farm right now?